YouTube, Redcoats return here and welcome to my cellar. I'll give you a quick tour. It's going to be very quick because uh, you see in Switzerland how we li live on a postage stamp. So there's my wine rack. This is the uh, table where I do all my handiwork, cram with stuff. There's a wood bin and more interesting for all of you is my reserves of tobacco and bourbon. You can see the bourbon down there. I hope to survive the next 20 years from this before they finally, you know, ban everything that's of any pleasure at all. Anyway, um, what I wanted to do is just update on the giveaway and uh, give you a few uh, new pointers on it. Amazing response, I have to say. I really uh, did not expect. Oh. It's early morning pipe. Uh, well, well hour. The match version. But it's very, very nice. Very mild. Uh, I'm using a... Uh, Jean-Claude old boy sort of Corona version um, significantly less expensive maybe about 40 uh, 45 dollars and it has a little pipe tool built into it here you know which is handy but uh, as um, some of you have started to do and been showing that you do one tends to make pat tampers as well as collect them. So, because um, I do a lot of shooting, I get a lot of uh, nice brass bullets and I just put this end in and there I have my own little tamper. Marvelous. I keep fiddling around with new ideas what I can do with brass bullets. It's uh, a lot of fun. And I'm using my little pewter pipe rest today. And I'm relighting my pipe again. I think I packed it too light. Sean Connery. He's actually in three places in my cellar. From Russia with Love, which is my favourite. And there's a a calendar in the corner there next to the wine rack which I just didn't have the heart to throw away. Got that from the 007 Museum in uh, London where they have some of these cars and a lot of uh, props from the the film you know from the film so worth a look if you're in London and at a loose end to do something. Just got to press this down a bit. Smoking my beautiful little Greek pipe here, which is in one of my previous videos, if you want to have the details about that. We're off. Well, so far, there are 26 I'm inners who didn't make a video but said I'm in and gave me their uh, choice of the best captain of the Enterprise. And I have seven video replies. And what I wanted to do is just cross-check with everyone out there that I've 
got you all, um, all subscribers as you must be. So I go through this uh, long list. If you hear your name, then you know where you are. So I'm in, that means no video reply, but you responded and s told me who you think the captain would be, are the following. Aromatics, Milan Tobacconist, Hefferville, Prefer the Pipe, Man Cave Piper, Jeff the Chef Piper, Sandro Fasolari, Dustin App, George Coblin, Baltz Herzberger, Dan Lopez, Mr. Scripto, Garbage Man Piper, Tobacco Pipes International, Pipe John, Tom Weingart, Greg Tunnel, Kirk Maxson, Sarah Newell, Tom Piperson, 46, Bearded Piper, NC Piper, Corvette Jim Piper, Piper Dave, Southwest Aficionado, and Thomas Finley. As you know, Laurie B already got a prize because she was number 200 subscriber, and the Artful Codger, I'm graced by his uh, attention to my, my video, said he didn't want to join in the draw, but um, made some nice uh, appreciated comments. Thank you, Ben, very much. Now, on the video reply side, there are seven, so that is Steph and Skip Kane, Goatman Stevie, Bocca to Boynton, Aerobin, Pipe and Tobac, that's Janus, the Bearded Welshman, and Cliff Higgins. So those are the ones I've got so far. Now, the way I'm going to do the draw is uh, the video reply, people get two numbers in the draw so that twice the chance to win that's what we said in the rules at the beginning and if you're an I'm in a no video you get one so as there are 26 I'm inners and seven video repliers I double the numbers because of the video reply so it's not seven but 14 um, which makes a total of 40 numbers will will be available to draw and what I've done is uh, the video reply people are giving a low number and a higher number so I've tried to sort of spread it out across the probability area even so 40 um, respondents and I very conscious I was originally planning only to give two uh, additional prizes one has gone already to Laurie and I, I don't want people to be disappointed or think I don't appreciate uh, their interest and response level. So I'm increasing the additional prizes to four. I had to check a little bit my what I've got. Um, so what I said is you get one of these fantastic red coat returns uh, pipe stand made by Eric Rana, the uh, Road King Piper, and painted by My Fair Hand with Redcoats Return on the raised letters. Uh, you get one of these Sir Walter Raleigh pewter tampers, which are reproduction of course, not original antiques, but they just look beautiful. And you get uh, a tin of tobacco from the list that I showed in the original video. And I'm probably going to throw some chocolate in there as well. So um, I, I have basically f four more of these. Um, I've got uh, I've got three of these, giving away my own personal one, and I've ordered some more. So it just might be that one person in in the four winners might have to wait a little bit longer maybe 10 days longer than the others the post anyway will take i don't know at least two weeks first class swiss post to the us or if it's the uk it's a bit faster of course if it's switzerland it would be just a couple of days but depending on where it's going it's going to take a while so I'm hoping in the meantime I've ordered some more of these and that I'll have the extra one for, 
for the fourth winner. Um, but, you know, a little bit of patience and we'll get there. So that's the, um, that's where things have shaped up. And um, as I said, I'm very pleased. I, I think probably most people who are going to go for it um, have answered already. But, of course, there's some days left. Now, I was reminded by my wife about some uh, things that we're doing next week, um, not the coming week, week after. So uh, I'm going to have to shift the thing one day early. So... I'll basically uh, close is the Saturday, the uh, that's going to be the 8th of February, um, and Sunday will be the draw, and I'll, I'll then do the draw video then at that time. I hope that's okay with everyone. I'm actually lucky today because um, I'm not really allowed to smoke in the house but I can smoke in the cellar in an emergency um, with the window tilted so uh, and it's terrible weather outside at the moment in Switzerland it's very it's not so cold but it's very stormy and rainy and then we're going to have a cold snap in the middle of the coming week our heating of course uh, the boiler now has a a fault of some kind so I'm hoping the repairman will come early in the week to fix us up otherwise always have a fireplace in your house I mean uh, it's one reason I bought this place is it had a fireplace so I've got plenty of wood so we're sort of uh, we're not going to freeze you know Did you see, I actually started to make hundreds of these things, you know. You, once you start, I put it with a champagne cork, so I don't even buy a cork anymore. This was a little uh, German chocolate tin. I'll give you another Michael Caine here. Did you know, did you know that Shocker Cola has been going since the 40s? So they used to have that in the Second World War as for the troops. Um and it has caffeine in it to sort of keep you awake and they still make it can you believe it still make it and it's actually a handy tin because it's just got a little press point and then you open it very easily so with one hand you take the lid off and your ashtray is ready a nice portable size as well <laughs> i think pipe smokers are not only collectors and um, connoisseurs and enjoyers of things they also like to sort of fiddle and put things together and take them apart, whatever. <clears throat> but it's a nice to have a, a place where you're not exposed to the elements, where at least, you know, exceptionally one can also smoke in your own house you know in the old days they used to have a smoking room didn't they if you had a big mansion house or something you used to have a summer smoking room or a winter smoking room with a snooker table pool table and all that you know right so I hope that's all clear as clear as mud, probably. <laughs> but more or less, it didn't change. It. The main main thing is there are a couple more prizes to go out, and uh, I shall be asking Siri to do the draw. Siri is um, our, you know, smartphone Apple friend. I guess everyone knows. So I'll ask her to pick uh, a random number, one to forty. And we'll see how it comes out. 
I'm quite amazed actually how my subscribers I'm now at uh, what is it 266 incredible I, I'm very grateful to everybody who subscribed and has an interest in my channel as a courtesy I like to subscribe back even if someone's not a video maker because sometimes I look at your playlists and what you interests you and uh, I discover things there I, I hadn't found myself which interests me so um, remember Matches did that uh, video on, on lurkers you know God bless him and um, he actually interviewed one or two lurkers on the phone very nice people very interesting you know and we were all I suppose at one point a lurker ourselves weren't we and um, so anyway anyone who subscribes to me I subscribe back and um, I'm very grateful for the level of interest and will try to always uh, think of new interesting things for content things that I know something about that say or things that might entertain you as well as uh, sort of the core areas of my interests I have promised Padre Piper I honor my promises Padre of course father to do a watch uh, one about my watches because I it's another thing I like to collect you know is watches and every watch has a story I'll give you an example so no I'm not a hypnotist you are feeling sleepy sleepier and sleepier your eyes are getting heavy I must stop doing that anyway this is uh, from Russia and um, it's actually got a, a lovely dial you see that and it was in the days 15 years ago you could get these for nothing it's a lo lovely engraving they give it to their cadets and um, I took it to the watch shop and got it all oiled up again because uh, I hadn't used it that much in that time and so it's all working perfect keeps very good time and that's one of my uh, pocket watches I've got about three pocket watches which I will happily show and I've got about 20 wrist watches so um, I figured I'd do a couple of videos and split them in two and um, you know show you a little bit why what, what I've got and why I've got they're not all Swiss watches they're um, as much as they are to be admired and they're beautifully engineered and I do have of course a number of Swiss watches as I should living in Switzerland married to a, a Swiss girl but um, I, I, I like to have some diversity so I've got some some uh, Russian watches I've got some American watches got got a number from different places Japan of course and, and so on so that will be one of my uh, other interests which I'll do as future videos you've seen already some of my um, pistol reviews or pistol comparisons and I will try to enrich the channel with other things which I can you know share some knowledge because that's how I see our YouTube thing here as, as sharing experience and, and some knowledge and uh, you know sharing enjoyment of life and all those things okie doke so that's the update and uh, during the coming week I shall be in contact with you again and of course the draw um, will happen on the Saturday uh, on, on the Sunday sorry coming and uh, the finalization for the you're in or not or video replies will be by next Saturday okie doke take care everyone Cheers.